everyone. Hello. How are you? I'm here with Ripka, and we're going to be talking about the absolute most essential, most important essential tool to head wrapping, which is dun, 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 the no slip headband. Um, I remember a time in my life before I discovered a no slip headband. Do you remember a time in your life? Yes. It Painfully was dark times. <laughs> <laughs> Tree branches were your enemy. Wind was your enemy. Tickles slipping off were your enemy. Right, having to use bobby pins and oh, clips gosh. and things yes. that. Or the the subtle hand head like you know I'm having it. I'm at a dinner party right now and holding it on just to make sure it's there. And excusing yourself to go to the bathroom to like pull it forward. Anyway, the no slip headband is a game changer. Absolutely, I would say probably the most essential tool for a beginner rapper. Um, someone who's not ready to use the shapers yet um, should definitely start with one of these. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the history of how we stocked and sourced our headbands. Um, when Rapunzel set, first started, we said, okay, we have to have no slip headbands. And I looked all over on the market. Um, the the velvet that we use um, for our headbands is absolutely the most high quality non-slip velvet. The way the no-slip headband works is um, it's velvet and basically the grain of the velvet doesn't, it's not like an upwards grain, it's kind of an angled grain. And when worn correctly, and this is very important, you have to wear it the right way, not the wrong way. When worn correctly, the grain of the velvet will grip against your head and against the tichel, so therefore the tichel will not slide off which is fantastic but make sure you're wearing it the right way because if you're not it will actually slip off just as fast as if you weren't wearing it at all um, so we found the perfect velvet um, it really lasts long um, and it really grips well and you know it can even be revamped by putting it in the wash or the dryer and i also really was um, very adamant about offering it in different sizes because there's some out there on the market that have um, one size fits all but we kind of realized that like not everyone has the same head size, right? Um, so that's very important that we offer, as you can see, a whole bunch of different sizes, and we're gonna talk about all our different sizes soon. Um, when we first started, I think, what, what was it, three sizes that we offered so long ago? Right, small, medium, medium, large, or extra large. Yeah, and now, as you can see, 10 different sizes, technically. That is quite a lot more than three. Right. So, <laughs> and we started with just black. And oh yeah, we and offer we offer in four colors. Four different colors. We're often asked, "What color should I buy?" And really, I mean, if you're gonna cover it up with a scarf and the scarf is opaque, then it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but some people like to match their hair color, and some people do find that lighter colors in the summer um, are better for summer um, scarves, like light scarves. Okie dokie. So, here's what happened. The no slip headbands are by far the best seller here at Rapunzel. It's like when people say, oh, I want to wrap my hair. Where do I start? This is like the most recommended product that we have. And when people ask other people like, go on Rapunzel and buy the no slip headband. And everyone's like, how do I keep my tickle from slipping off? How do you make it stay? And it's like, no slip headband, no slip headband. Um, so we've been having some talks here at headquarters. Um, about how to make an already amazing product even better um, because we realized that depending on someone's head shape or where they want to wear the headband, if they're showing some hair at the front or wearing it farther back, or if they like a snug fit or a looser fit, um, that we really could offer more sizes and more options. And we really wanted to inspire you all to actually go out there and measure your head and not just assume that because your grandmother said that you had a big head, that that's actually true because depending on someone's hairline or where they wear the scarf, um, someone that thinks they might have a big head might actually have a small head. Someone that thinks they have a small head might have a bigger head. Um, so we really want you to go out there and use one of these measuring tapes to measure your hair. So we did away with our previous sizing. Our previous sizes were like small, medium, large, extra large. Um, we wanted to change that to use letters and letters for our Velcro option and numbers for our number option because then people won't be making the assumption about what they've heard or not heard about their head size. Um, so we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, not G, just F. <laughs> And two, three, four, five, depending on customer requests, we might offer some different sizes, um, but we feel like this is as extensive. Um, 
Do you want to talk a little bit about the ladies here at headquarters and some different Yeah, yeah. we put a lot of thought and time into yes. how do you measure your head, how do you wear your headband based upon the size of your skull or your hairline or where you want to place it. There's a lot of different variables. That's why we feel the the most accurate way to begin is to take a measuring tape and to measure where you want to place your headband. So I put it at the beginning of my hairline and I wrap this piece around. It's going to be a little larger because I'm obviously wrapped, but if somebody was going to wear theirs back, they should place it where they are gonna start their headband. Um, I happen to have a little bit of a lower hairline, so that changes the measurement, but you just wrap around, you find your measurement on here and keep that as your size that unless you change where you wear your headband that should be consistent there is give and stretch to our our velour which is part of its beauty um, so that one headband does accommodate many different size heads yeah. like a three inch spread typically and we'll go a little bit more into detail about that Absolutely. Yeah. So it's one of those things that when we actually really started researching it here, I mean, we've always been researching it, but we're like, okay, we need to do the ultimate spreadsheet and the ultimate measurements and offer the ultimate everything. And we're like, wow, this is actually quite complex. Um, because as Rivka mentioned, like the stretch of the headband, where someone wears it on their head, how much, how snug they have it, where they're wearing it on the Velcro, um, that all really changes what the measurement is. Um, so we really wanted to you know, give an accurate spread. And by the way, everything that we say in this video um, is gonna be on a spreadsheet offered on a website and um, linked to this video. So if you don't catch what we're saying in terms of the sizing, look at the spreadsheet. And it will, it will also have all the information about the previous sizes that we used to offer. So if you're like, oh, I used to be a medium large, am I an A, B, C, three, four? Um, you'll be able to find that as well. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll do an example of like um, my own head and how to measure. So best to, you know, if you have longer hair to pull your hair back. Um, if you don't have long hair, just leave it down. And take a soft measuring tape. If you don't have a soft measuring tape, take something like a shoelace or a ribbon and then you can measure it on a flat measuring tape. Um, make sure that you find out where the zero is. Some measuring tapes have a zero, like kind of not exactly at the end. So I'm gonna measure it as if I'm covering my hair fully, like right at the base of the hairline here on my head. And if and you gonna... wear your headbands over your ears, do the measurement that way exactly. as well. Okay, so let's do it, let's say, if I'm wearing it over my ears, this would probably be the biggest measurement on my head. Okay, and I like it snug but not tight. So I'm gonna, you know, measure it snug but not tight. Okay, now that is right here. I'm measuring at 22 inches. 22 inches. So I'm gonna look at this sheet and say, okay, I'm 22 inches. That means that in an adjustable no-slip headband that has a Velcro, that I will likely be a medium slash, sorry, that was the old sizing. I'm gonna be a D, a size D, or even perhaps a size E if I'm wearing it over my ears. However, what if I don't wanna wear it over my ears? When am I gonna do that? Let's measure it at my hairline again. So there we go, there's the measurement. So that's coming in actually at closer to 21 and a half. Yes, so that's like not over my ears. So over my ears adds an extra half an inch. So with that, at 21 and a half, then I would be um, still probably a size D. I could, if I wanted a snugger fit, go to size C. Or on the no Velcro one, I could do um, either size three or size four. And that's really, that's really gonna depend on whether you want a snugger fit. As I said, like, you know, over time, these can stretch out a little bit. Now, what if I was gonna show a little bit of my hairline? Let's see, so some people assume that when you wear your um, head, head back farther back, that it's gonna be a smaller measurement. That's not necessarily the case because some people have um, a skull that goes up some people have a skull that dips in the middle. I think mine actually dips in the middle, so my measurement is probably gonna be smaller, but let's actually let's see. see. Let's see. 
we were really surprised when we measured everyone's heads here at headquarters. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, so here is my measurement. Oh, and I'm coming out at 20 inches. So that is a slightly smaller measurement. If I was significantly smaller. Yeah, significantly, a an, whole inch smaller. An inch is definitely significant when you're talking about wrapping the exactly. floor around your head and having the right fit. What we found very interesting is the difference in preference. We have a range in the office between 19 and 25 inches. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we feel like we really represent the majority <laughs> of heads out there. Yeah. So don't think that you haven't somehow been captured in our um, thinking, um, but that everybody had a slightly different preference and you might expect that everyone wants it to be kind of snug because you're worried that it's going to fall off but that's not true some people get headaches some people enjoy a little bit of the looser feel and it again if you're wearing it the correct way it still won't slide back even if it's not really hugging your head so we took into consideration and most people will be able to wear at least two headbands yeah. depending upon how snug or how fitted they like it Exactly. Very, very important. Do you want to talk a little bit about our two options between the Velcro and the no Velcro? Sure. I we think so. I didn't check. We're calling one of them the adjustable. The one with Velcro is going to be called the adjustable, and the one with no Velcro is going to just be called no Velcro. Continue yeah. to be called no Velcro. Yeah. So we started with um, the adjustables, which um, is great because you can change it depending upon where you're wearing it over your ears behind your ears further back further to the front of your forehead it gives you that variation however um, sometimes if people are using the velcro strip and they end up wanting to pull it a little bit further past where they match sometimes scarves will snag on this or it irritates somebody's skin or it catches their hair. Um, sometimes people have tried to find solutions with bobby pins and things to close yeah. this over. But we came up with another idea, which was to eliminate the Velcro altogether. And that way you just have the simple feel of the velour all the way around your head. It's a slightly wider band, just slightly. So it does offer a little bit extra um, velvet. Mm -hmm. And most people who get them love them because they yes. just are so soft and comfortable you so never have to worry about this however i still prefer yeah. the um, adjustable because i do like to be able to pull it a little tighter over time yeah. all fabric tends to stretch that you're using with a stretch so that's important to keep in mind that um it does allow you to continue using it perhaps a little longer. I'm just gonna show you how to put this on your head. I also, like, I go back and forth between them. Um, this one, certainly, if you um, are more detail-oriented, I think gives you a little more control over how, like, also if you're trying to tuck it in the wispy ends near your ears, this one gives you a lot of control over that. Um, so with our, um, our adjustable headbands, you wanna have the label on the inside of your left ear, but also, this is actually very important, when you pet the velvet backwards in the direction that the scarf might slip, you want the friction of the velvet to be going in that direction. Like if it feels smooth when you do this, then you're wearing it the wrong way. You have to flip it around, but I'm wearing it the right way right now. So then you put it on like this, whatever you want. Let's say I'm going to wear it in the middle of my head, but let's say I want the little like, you know, wispy ends by my ears away. And then I'm going to wear it like right at the beginning. And since I've, chosen the correct size here, then I'm really starting at the beginning of the Velcro. So I shouldn't have any snagging issues when I first buy this, but over a couple of months when it stretches out, then I'll probably be able to close it completely against the Velcro. So that feels really good. Um, that's I'm wearing right now, this, the C size. Um, but it's a, like, that's a little snug for me. That's like a nice feel for me because I like it, you know, kind of somewhat kind of snug. And if I'm going to wear, let's say, the no Velcro, let's put that back. The no, no Velcro took me a while first to <laughs> figure out exactly how to put it on. Because you're like, okay, I want the Velcro to go in this direction. In what direction do I put it on? You want basically the fold to be kind of going down when you put it on your head. 
So you just pull it down. The fold, you mean the seam? Yeah, this, the, no, not the seam. Oh, the, the surged of the seam, edge. The, the non-surged edge. The... You want, you want, that's okay, Lila. <laughs> Lila's videoing and she's doing Hi. an amazing job at it. <laughs> Come on, we have to give her acknowledgement. So Andrew, Andrea has the surge side that's Up. going to be further back on but her that's head. That's going to be pulled on my head and, and the, the folded, folded side over. on the bottom. And, and you'll she... get used to it. So I'm going to pull that back. Ah, and it's so comfy. It's a really, really comfortable. And then you just want to make sure it's going in the right direction. Yes, it is. And that feels fantastic. Yay. Okay. So have we talked about everything to do with everything? Or is there anything to, else to go on about? So far, I think we've covered all the main points. Covered all the main points. <laughs> Um, but most importantly, the chart that's created with the old name being referenced, the new size, will be on the product page for yes. when you buy headbands. Yes, we have so, it all here. This is like, it's actually going to be much prettier. I think um, our graphic designer, Tara, is going to like put some swirls and colors in it. Um, and that will be available. And as always, we are here to answer any of your questions. And we really hope that you find the right size and style of no slip headband because it is a game changer. Right. So yeah. just to recap, yes. we want everyone to measure their head and be as scientific as possible about this because yeah. it makes a big difference. As we've seen, three different sizes can be worn based upon her placement. Mm -hmm. And from there, you'll have the recommendations on the product page when you've measured your head what headband should you be looking at and we'll give you a couple of choices you have to decide for yourself do you like things snug loose do you want to have an option for both depending upon the day your mood mm -hmm. a headache potentially coming mm -hmm. or the type of scarf you're wearing exactly. so that's the first place to start second place will be to go to our product page and then if you have any further questions you can always send us an email send us an email yeah okie dokie Thank you all. Enjoy. Happy wrapping.